I'm sitting here in some sort of fat boy knockoff uh, at the uh, because I'm, I'm a bit tired from moving around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting here in uh, some kind of fat boy knockoff. Uh, I'm a little bit tired from moving around here at the PlayStation Move event in San Francisco at, during GDC. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen PlayStation Move by now. You've all heard it. You've all made fun of it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it certainly seems like uh, the Wii Station has, <laughs> has arrived. Um, and uh, I've been playing some of the games here. Uh, I've been playing iPad. I've been playing uh, something called The Shoot. I've seen some people play SOCOM 4 over there. And uh, behind us here, we got uh, a few different uh, sports from uh, Sport Champions. And there are a few other games here on display uh, at the event. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly accurate device, it's fair to say. It tracks movement well. Uh, it's just that it's, it doesn't seem like such a big difference from from the Wii experience really uh, games like iPad have a little bit more functionality using the camera uh, in addition to the, the the motion controller and that adds an extra layer that, that works well in some games uh, but overall I'm a bit underwhelmed I'm not I'm not convinced that this is the future uh, I think I think Sony are looking a little bit too much at when it, what Nintendo did and think that uh, as long as we do the same kind of things, people will migrate to PlayStation 3. I don't think that's the case at all. I hope they have other, other kinds of experience in, uh, in store for us, uh, experiences that perhaps don't rely too much on, on waving around and uh, shooting things on screen, things that we've done a hundred times before. Uh, but things that make more subtle use of, of the motion control where you can combine uh, a more traditional gameplay experience. Of course, SOCOM 4 is that to a certain degree. It's just that when you look at people playing SOCOM 4, it just looks like they're, they're missing a controller in their hands. They want to play with a controller. It looks uh, awkward and a little bit, you know, a little bit stupid. Maybe that Maybe that's yes, something that you need to get used to, controlling it that way, but I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical. Uh, healthy skepticism, I think, is, is a, it's a good stance on this uh, PlayStation move. Uh, Sony did announce that it's going to be fairly cheap. You can uh, buy PlayStation Move with a game and the, I, uh, the PSI for uh, under $100, which is, uh, seems like good value. Uh, but uh, remains to be seen if, if the games are worth it. Um, I, I certainly hope they have more uh, content planned for E3 to show us on PlayStation Move. And there's, a, there's, there's no third-party games here at all. So I guess, I guess we, uh, we should expect the third parties to come up with some interesting stuff as well for launch on, on, the, on the PlayStation Move. Uh, one interesting announcement was that they're integrating PlayStation Move into Little Big Planet. An already existing game. I think that's something that that uh, I'd like to see more of. Uh, certainly, there are games that are out on the market already that could could do well with uh, that kind of thing. I mean, I wouldn't mind having Heavy Rain, for instance, with with some sort of motion control instead of uh, the Quick Time events, for instance, uh, that are there now. Or when you move you move your uh, analog stick, you know, maybe it would make more sense in moving a uh, PlayStation Move. Um, other than that, what can I say? I'm taking it easy here. Found found a place to relax. I'm gonna play some more games here. But uh, this is it from the PlayStation Move event.